Okay, good morning guys. It's Sunday and that means I'm out hiking to get ready for Kilimanjaro. Today I'm at the Ice House Canyon Trail. This is out by Mount Baldy outside Los Angeles and I'm going to be hiking up to Cucamonga Peak. It's about 8,400 feet at the top and this trail is going to take me on about 4,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's quite a bit more than I've done on my previous training hike so far this winter and um, I'm excited to get started. So let's go. So to give you guys a little bit of perspective, we're about 60 miles away from Los Angeles. It took me just over an hour to get here on a Sunday morning. And on a weekday, it takes a little bit longer. But I mean, as you can see from looking around me on this trail, it just could not be more different than the city of Los Angeles. We're really in the woods up here. There's some beautiful sequoia trees, pine trees, birch trees, and birds chirping. Um, I'm really hoping we see some other wildlife, like maybe a bear, uh, but we'll see. So we're about a mile into the hike right now, so <laughs> there's a long ways to go still. First trail sign here, as you can see, the Ice House Saddle is 2.6 miles away. Sun's just starting to peek through the trees here. That's probably about to get hot. Actually pretty cool right here. You can see that we've got a sequoia right here. And then a ponderosa pine. That's right in the middle of those two. You can see the difference in the bark. Okay, I made it to the saddle. I'm having just a small snack, a snack for the trail. Dried fruit. And if you've never had these dried mandarin oranges, you should definitely try them. have noticed now that we're starting to get closer to the top here is that a lot of the trees have changed. We went from having a lot of those big sequoia, ponderosa pine, to having kind of small scrub brush and then you know, some of these low shorter trees that you see behind me here that do better at higher elevation. Finally at the top of Cucamonga Peak and I took a wrong turn right near the top and actually hiked about two extra miles so glad to finally be standing here at the top or sitting rather and one of my favorite parts of the hike is actually getting to eat my lunch and I packed a PB and J so I'm gonna enjoy that and then I'll show you guys around some of the views up here. You can see all of San Bernardino and Los Angeles on the other side. So it's a pretty awesome view up here. And we're about at 8,500 feet around there. So not even to what our starting point's gonna be for Kilimanjaro, but um, about 4,000 feet of elevation gain today. So this is actually where I continued on the trail that looks like a trail instead of going up this that looks like a wash. That is actually the way to the top. Not continuing on the trail that looks like a trail. <laughs> Since I'm so far behind the schedule, I'm trying to make quick work. Of this trail on the way down. I 
I'm just over halfway down now and I wanted to give you guys a little quiz. So on the way up here I told you about two different kinds of trees, sequoias and ponderosa pine. So right now I'm actually standing in front of one of those and I want you guys to tell me if you remember which one this tree is that's behind me right here, if you can tell by the bark on that. So let me know what you think it is by leaving a comment below and I'll let you know if you're right. Okay, so this quiz has two parts because right now I'm standing in front of another type of tree and it is still one of those two. So this is either a ponderosa pine or a sequoia. And if you've gotten the other one right, then you'll probably get this one right. But let me know by answering quiz one, quiz two, or answer one, answer two, in what kind of tree you think this one is as well. And I'll let you know if you're right. If you guys have watched my um, Lawson Volcanic National Park video, you will know that you've seen a lot of these trees before. And these are actually really great barriers against forest fires. They actually have the ability to um, almost put the fires out. They store water in their bark and they're able to actually kind of be fireproof to an extent. So it's a pretty cool feature. But if you haven't checked out that Lawson Volcanic National Park video, I'm gonna put a little tag to it up here and check that out and then come back here if you weren't sure about what kind of tree and then give me your answer. So I'm gonna show you guys this rock. I really had a hard time telling you if it was petrified wood if it was actually rock but I do believe it's rock and just check it out over on this side how cool that is look at all the striations all the different layers of sediment I mean that shows right there probably millions of years of the earth's history to a ton of this rock around just look around slowly here And as you can see, there's just these really big debris fields of rocks. Well, I'm almost down all the way at the bottom right now. There's just a couple hundred more feet to go before I get to the car. I don't know what a hike this has been. Total time today was actually about eight hours and total mileage 15.8.